Hello, this is Hawk the Bean, and I'm here with r slash Tumblr. And first things first, I'm going to read to you the my favorite post, and then we'll get it back to normal Tumblr content. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. Me holding a gun to a mushroom. Tell me the name of. All oh, right, I actually can't do this yet. I have to wait until I'm at least five minutes in. So let's keep going on this. <sighs> My hotel has a sitting area with no possible way to access it. Use whirlwind sprint. Climb on the desk and double jump from there. Freaking triangle jump. You're not you're just not thinking with portals. Just go outside and press the ground a couple times. Go back inside and build a new tower up to the sitting area. It can't be higher than three, four blocks. Unlock that sitting area with the special $15 sitting area DLC. The heck? I was put on this earth to do one thing. Luckily, I forgot what it was, so I can do whatever I want. The Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword, Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time, Twilight, I Princess, is Phantom. A yeah, that's a bad game. Link's Awakening, Minish Cap. Four Swords Adventure, or, or Triforce Heroes, and of course Breath of Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Any of them are are applicable, except for Link's Awakening and Spirit Tracks because they kind of suck. Mostly because the DS games were just bad. Asking for a straight pride is like asking for able-bodied parking spaces. That's a really good comparison because there are about 70 able-bodied parking spaces to one disabled, and able-bodied people still insist on using the one that isn't theirs. This is seriously a great post. Cemeteries for living people. That's why you're on Gang Straight Pride. Right. Sorry, but, um, give up on it. Let's see what this is. I can't swear in the first five minutes of a video, so I have to actually read some more normal posts before I get into what I actually want to get into really badly right now. Sometimes I think about the fact that DreamWorks was working on The Prince of Egypt and Shrek at the same time, and will apparently send people to work on Shrek instead of The Prince of Egypt as a form of punishment. The night I posted this, I couldn't find a source and I've been wondering ever since maybe it was just some kind of freaked out feet for Dream or something, but no, it's real. I struck flounder and said as the ugly stepchild at DreamWorks was for good force. It was known as the Gulag, said one animator. If you fell on Friends of Egypt, you were sent to the dungeons to work on Shrek. The seven was referred to as being Shrek. I learned something today. So that's what being Shrek meant. I thought it meant when you... Redacted. In the post you're about to make, replace a cis white hetero male people with the Jews, and if the results look like something that could be straight out of Mein Kampf, you probably should reconsider your social justice blogging habits. Bless this freaking post. Straight out of Mein Kampf. Thank you so much. This goes for pretty much every a demographic in the world. Um, no. Because, funny enough, the cis white hetero oh men are not being oppressed in any way, shape, or form. 
most of the time, they're feeling the effects of what happens when you press one group. Why you might be coming in here with the freaking toxic masculinity thingy and saying that it's actually a problem caused by feminism, I'm going to remind you that feminism is trying to end the toxic masculinity that has uh, as men so depressed. Let's get back to work. Five pounds of gummy cola. A free seven cake. Actually, bitch, it was a six dollar and six cent stomach ache. I'm a gay stomach ache. I can't. I can't even grow up to even say stomach right. Okay, we're five minutes in. We can do this now. The mushrooms. Me holding a gun to a mushroom. Tell me the name of God, you fungal piece of shit. Mushroom. Can you feel your heart burning? Can you feel the struggle within? The fear within me is beyond anything your soul can make. You cannot kill me in a way that matters. Me, cocking the gun, tears stream down my face. I'm not afraid. I'm not fucking scared of you. Hey, OP, what the fuck does this mean? Decay exists as an exit form of life. That, that's a terrifying answer. Have a nice day. Honestly, best sampler meme. I love it. I'm slowly <laughs> beginning to accept the reality that 2007 was not last year, but in fact, almost four years ago. My dude, I was 7 in 2007. I'm 22 going on 23. 2007 was over a decade ago. You need to start to accept that. I have to come to terms with the fact that love is not an everlasting performance in which you attempt to retain the attention of your significant if you can utter but rather release of control and put your faith into them and trust them to choose to stay with you no matter what you have to offer. To love and be loved is to rest. True words have never been in and said. Hang on. I think the DC fandom should acknowledge that Darkseid right, is inherently pathetic. Here's the thing, he's the biggest bad in the DC multiverse, barring very few exceptions. He's a literal concept of evil and tyranny, boiled down to its purest form. His catchphrase, Darkseid is, is meant to indicate that he is inherently more real than you. He exists above you, inside you, through you, around you. He is objectively more than you. And he keeps losing. Imagine losing to someone who is so much less than you that you can't even recognize him as being sentient or as existing. Imagine failing to conquer the middle ultiverse because of a flat picture of soup because a flat picture of Superman beat you up. Imagine failing at your life goal over and over again because you can't beat a video game. That's what it's like for a dark side every time he fails against the Justice League. Dark side is so pathetic. That he loses to people who don't even exist to him. Darkseid is. And that's why Darkseid is pathetic. Funny story. When I was little, I would go on Nickelodeon.com all the time. They had this game similar to Club Penguin, except it was called Nicktropolis. And if you've got your password, a security question you could choose was, What is your eye color? And if you got it right, I tell you your password. So I'd go to public locations in Ectropolis and write up new usernames who were also in those areas. Then I would log out and type in the username as if it were my own and see which of these usernames had security questions set to what is your eye cutler. What was supposed to them since it was easy and we were all kids? 
I would then try either brown, blue, or green and always get in. Then I would go to the house, send all of the furniture and decorations to my own accounts, and if I didn't want it, I could sell for money. I love robbery and fraud. Who doesn't? I thought you were 22. It says 23 in your bio. You're never going to believe what happened to me. I know, right? <sighs> I told a kid in my class the other day that it was going to be the year of the tiger. This kid is a kindergartner, five years old. Usually there's some interest when I bring this up, but this kid sort of sat with that for a couple minutes, expression selling it to a thousand yard stare. Just as I was wondering if something was wrong, he looked at me with his haunted eyes and asked in a tone of resignation, When are the tigers coming? I was quickly reassured that the year of the tiger was like an animal assigned to the year, and not another plague or natural disaster. Between the COVID, lockdowns, and huge flood of cicadas last year, this child probably decided this was in light I know how the world worked and was mentally getting his affairs in order. <laughs> I guess a flake of tigers might as well happen, right? Doxing myself. House. He lives over there! What the hell, man? Yeah, I live in my house. Oh, crap. Now oh, everyone's gonna come up after me. Girl, you're not better than everyone just because you don't all use, use TikTok. Yes, I am. If you don't use TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or any other parasite social media sites, you will also be a healthier person. Girl, you are posting this on Tumblr.com. No one on Tumblr is mentally healthy. That's how I was very accurate. Me, making food for myself. Why must I be subjected to the torture of maintaining this moral flesh? When will I be free? If the trials of, of Sisyphe and identity. Me, making food for someone else. Yay! Yippee! Woo! Yeah! Hooray! Yahoo! Hurrah! Yeehaw! Woo! Heck yeah! For having this epic fantasy we're talking like a, you know, have a piece of classical mythology, but instead of Medusa or Hades and Persephone, it's a story where a horse cranks, it, it cranks his hog off and, and sets for a main and lettuce. Oh, whoa. Where is it as a hat? Wait. God, hold on. God looks something up. They wasn't lying. That oh, whoa, can wear it as a hat. For those curious, oh, whoa, is pronounced dot, and yes, he does. Okay, frick you. This is probably going to get dark. Imagine being the last owner of Hanako, that 226-year-old Japanese koi that was spawned in 1751 and died in 1977. A fish that outlived seven emperors, a fish that survived the Second World War, and she dies in your care. I would never recover. I would find peace and that she felt comfortable enough to finally rest in my company. Fish remember faces and voices of their caretakers. Perhaps she loved it last too much to watch him die before her, too. Oh. Uh, oh. Yeah. Maybe. That just brings about a different kind of pain. So, I have both a brother and sister, and recently I came out as Jenny Quill, and my brother's reaction, and I was basically, ah, yes. 
I collected the whole set. The only correct reaction. The whole set. Friends, strangers, I want to share with you something I long thought I'd hallucinate, but which today I've discovered was absolutely real. In the 90s, my mom went to a number of Star Trek conventions and would often come home with a fan made shirt, t shirt. I achieved to understand why my mother, barely five foot tall, a Catholic who, who to this day goes to church every Sunday, who has ever heard or, or to who's ever heard to utter a swear a word until I was in my twenties, who taught grade one for decades at a local primary school. This woman, pure and innocent, innocent, went to a Star Trek convention and not only showed us his t shirt, but purchased it, and now it's been rediscovered in the garage, uh, and I've never been happier in my life. Beat me up, Scotty. Sex! I asked her what she was thinking, she he, he said that she thought it was funny, but when she brought home, my dad was, aside from um, um, sides being really amused, absolutely adamant that she could wear it out in public because. She wanted to do that. Grade one teacher, church on Sunday mom, wanted to wear this around town. Who is this woman I thought I knew? Anyway, now I have this awesome t-shirt and I sort of want to frame it. No, I just wear it around town. I hate X reader fan fiction. I would not act like that. So true. So true. Literally, these people are like actually taking hints and understanding that the uh, intentions behind them. No, they. Uh, I'd be like, I, I'm getting freaking someone being like, "Hey, you're in bed. Have you take off them clothes?" And I'm like, "Nah, it's cold." Like, uh, okay. Well, you're pretty hot if you did. No, I'd actually be pretty cold. I'm just not one who does that sort of stuff, I guess. For the parallels of life, my boyfriend was trying to figure out how to install a red water collector to the balcony of our apartment. When I pointed out that we spent more money on takeout yesterday than we paid for the tap water each, for each month, he tried to explain to me that it's not about the money. It's about figuring out ways to cut costs. I try my best to understand, despite I of knowing that I really can't. Went back to browsing my television feed, and the next thing I see is a video of a beaver in a rehab facility, carrying sticks from across the room in order to build a dam. Indoors, to block out a doorway. Beaver is perfectly aware that there's a water flood to block, but the instinctive nature to build a dam is stronger than the conscious awareness that there is no need for one. And I finally understood. Literally. Okay, I love this name already, Calamity's Child, that's amazing. I think the best, most human thing in the world is strangers doing a silly thing. Example, guy at work. Yes, and Ing, the bit, and me and my coworkers were doing... Ing, where we pretend to be owners of it. Oh, yes, and Ing, the bit, me and my coworkers were doing, where we pretend to be the owners of a fancy medieval old tavern, not minimum wage retail staff. At the gay club when and die young by Cash came on and two hundred people all dancing and drinking simply jumped up, up to make the beat of the um stomp stomp as loud as possible. At first we watched me stomp around the beach, singing a made up a song about breakfast as supposed to name a cat after and suggested more breakfast foods that would be eat good cat names. The guy who saw your dan a dance off with everyone across the road while waiting for or the lights to, to change. Very tiny girl at the pharmacy interviewing everyone in the queue, and every single one of us in turn sat down and answered this toddler's questions like we were on Letterman. The three pillars of humanity in no particular order are joy, absurdity, and sharing. Beautiful. And yes, those are the three pillars of humanity. And if you do not uh, participate in these, are you even human? You have no joy, you have nothing weird about you, and you share nothing. Are you human? Am I an anime, a freaking waifu more human than you at that point? <laughs> the 
just rather that being gay is the first hour trait. It's just an evolved form of uh, I'll give you gay, I just don't wanna see it. No gay man thinks it's their only personality trait. No lesbian thinks it's their only personality trait. No trans person thinks it's their only personality trait. You're just annoyed by someone embracing a large part of themselves and being comfortable in their, their body in a community of people like them. Okay, I'm going, going to make a more in-depth response to this because it unexpectedly blew up. But I'm seeing a lot of responses and tags about baby gays. And I need y'all to understand something real quick. Y'all need to realize that baby gays being obnoxious is literally not harming anybody. And we all know it's a phase they'll eventually grow out of. It's really not that deep, I promise you. So that boys and girls can go through phases in their pre or teens of being boy or such girl crazy. Or being obsessed with performing their gender the way they want. When LGBT kids do it then move it a little bit later, y'all suddenly have a problem with it. And these are just kids. Don't come at them with your own internalized phobias. Let me explain something. A lot of people who were closeted until they were er er adults never got to really experience being who they were as kids. Some of them go into what's called a little space. They basically become kids again in a weird way. And you know what? That's fine. No shame should be put towards anyone for how they deal with with their own own identity. Everyone deserves respect and acceptance just like you do. And if you say anything, anything that is against this, well, I'm not really going to argue with you because that's really it's just my own opinion. But if you say anything, anything that's against what this post said, you're just probably is internalizing a phobia of your own. Ooh, what's this? You know what the green heron is basically the best. You know, oh, what the green heron is basically the best heron because it is like nine percent neck. So when it is all folded down, it looks like a giant head with wings and legs. What the heck? But then suddenly, zoop! What the hell? Fucking green herons! What the fuck? Hang on, just gotta scroll down. <sighs> so if every car is aren't even at hard to make, lol, just program it not to hit stuff. If going to hit stuff, don't. Very much. I don't know program. <laughs> Excuse me, I drink a lot of soda. There's soda in the house, that's why I drank a lot of it today. I'm on my second can of, um, Mountain Lightning today. You see, it's off Grand Mountain Dew. That's the joke. I think it's from the same people that made, um, Dr. Thunder, which is off Grand Dr. Pepper. They seem to have a storm theme going on, and I like it. Anyway. Let me tell you something about bodybuilding and working out. I hate how working out has been appropriated by alpha male all assholes and this ultra masculine dude bro sigma male thing. Because something they never mentioned is just how much of it is just perseverance. Eating healthy. Having good mental health and refusing to lose morale. I'm only three weeks into body recomposition, losing fat and gaining muscle at the same time. And I'm only down five to six pounds, but I confirmed that I was absolutely absolutely miserable because of my size, which lets me go reading, which lets me getting bigger in a cycle. Then I just cut out all the process of fast foods and just made homemade food and started feeling a lot better. I also started working harder at the gym, which lets me feeling even better. It's honestly 80% of the diet with the weightlifting just helping to increase the metabolism and build muscle. It's also just not losing morale. It's frustrating looking into a mirror after working out and not seeing anything noticeably change, but you shouldn't expect to look like a supermodel in a couple weeks. It's a long process and you should keep going as long as it makes you happy. There we are. Whew. 
honestly, if you're working out, I I was about to move out, but then I decided I had to add my own thing. It's not about just losing weight or whatever. Because you know what? It's about your happiness. That should be the main goal in working out for anyone. Nothing else matters but your happiness with your own body. And you know what? If you're happy with your body without working out, then don't. That is completely on you. I know what what I'm happy with, and I'm never working out because I'm not happy with that. Well, I might do running again one day. That was fun. Anyway, hey, you remember Jackie Chan as his own animated series with him making cameos in the intro? He was an archaeologist who suddenly became a secret agent of some sort. Or is it starting to kick egg butt to save the world from Chinese evil things like demons and, and and crap. And that British guy with a weird face. It was packed with kung fu action, magic, and crack stuff. And at the end of the chapter, he would answer the kids' questions. He's such a nice guy. One more thing. You will never forget this. That is a... a that is going to be hard to say. You Mowgli, a guy fight a diesel. What? No, you Mowgli guy fight the zoo. You Mowgli guy fight the zoo. You Mowgli guy I the zoo. Right? I can't read that. I'm. I'm a VTuber, I can't freaking read anymore, okay? <sighs> the way I know Tumblr and Twitter as a verge dressly is the difference between their classical literature and culture. People in our classical lit Oh. I paused at the wrong time. The way I know to employ Twitter as I've urged drastically is the difference between their classical literature and culture people. And our classical literature are in culture people. You see someone with a marble statue of you on Twitter rambling about classical culture in the good old days and it's saying that you're about to see the worst, most, most dog shit fucking hot takes you have ever seen about women, gay people, trans people, architecture, painting, escalindi, and just about anything else. Just worship that will, will make like, you want to never see a take ever again. You see someone rambling about classical ki classical culture on, and literature on Tumblr, and it's probably a gay or trans person writing absurdly intricate and historically accurate fanfiction about Greek mythology and history on AO3, and will happily tell you about their mythology of Lorbos. They're also the most pleasant person you've ever met. Yes, you see... People on Twitter who ramble about the good old days are usually people who think that the 50s were their, um, um, homophobia and racism was rife in the country was the best time period in our country because they didn't have to see us other people that aren't like them. People on Tumblr who talk about classical culture and literature probably know that before the 50s, there were times when people were completely accepting of people oh, who were or, or not cishet. This is actually weird to be acrophobic, which is to be a homophobic or transphobic or any other, or even acephobic. Your killer dumping your latest victim into the river. Just as you're about to be done, you spot another person doing the exact same thing. And they've just spot out of you too. Same crime! Same crime! Me, saw your new game. I'm gonna be evil this time. Me, five minutes into said game. Being mean is not nice. 
Me, after failing to be evil, I'm gonna look up to the YouTube videos of that playthrough instead. Me, looking at the videos, I can't watch this. Undertale. <sighs> My first time playing Undertale, I went to Pacifist Root because uh, I thought it would be nicer than murdering everything. I made friends. I felt to be it, it um as as real in the end. Just like completely gave up. Basically, I got tired. Then I saw a new game. I want to do genocide route. I got to Undyne. I just could anymore. Not only was it so hard, but I freaking like Undyne, dude. Name, Lil Beepo. Skill, freaking miserable. Quote, please let me have some grease on the stove top. I'll cry if you don't let me have some grease. I need it. Oh my goodness, the skill is the same as mine. No grease for you, Lil Beepo. I'm sorry, but it's for your own good. Lil Beepo's misery is increasing. 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 Uh, Beepo, no! <sighs> yes, yeah, so Orion is destined to kill his own father. Yes, the anti. The life equation couldn't save all of sentience, blah, 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 whatever. What do they eat for lunch on New Genesis? New gods. How long did it take to build that big ass city? How many people live there? How often did people's mother boxes just stop working? Does everyone talk to Highfather? Was there gossip with a right? I didn't showed up. Can I take a friggin' pottery class with Light Ray? I'll never understand why Disney is so focused on live action remakes when they literally own the rights to the Muppets. I would take a Muppets remake of a Disney animation classic over live action remake all day, every day. Muppet Beauty and the Beast, where the Beast is played by uh, the only human actor and he turns into a Muppet at the end. The Beast should be, conventionally attracted, should be a con eventually attractive actor when, when the Muppets town people continually call hideous until true love realizes it, releases him from this curse and he's just true. Of beauty, blue felt, and plastic eyes. No face when your shape a friend forgets it's how to turn back into human and has a crisis. Riot, I'm in here. Please don't come in. I'm not scared of you! I've watched plenty of horror movies. How many eyes do I have? Just pick one. Uh, seven? Just pick one to focus on. How are you feeling? Okay. Are you in pain? A bit. I might translate. Oh, who cares? We have to wait for it to load. Did you tell Orange? No, you're good. Okay. Okay. You're still my friend, you know. Not looking like this. Doesn't matter. It's still you, isn't it? I guess. By the way, I got you something. So, you remember being human? And remember being you? Hmm. 
Where did you get that? I'm learning how to draw. No, the picture. I always carry it on me. You do? Yeah, I love you. Give me your hand. What? No. Since what do you like? Like holding hands. Shut up. I want to hold it. Since now. We'll get through this together. Okay? Okay. Okay, that was way more emotional than I was expecting. Girl, you are glowing. Girl, you are radioactive. Girl, it's fatal. When your bestie works in a, in the wristwatch factory. Wait, hold on. I gotta look something up. What the fuck? Comments, please explain this to me. Uh, who, uh, I don't know why I bother asking. I know that and I don't, don't get comments on my videos these days. Hades, explain that he's the god of the dead, not the god of death. I do not control the die. Hades, explain that he's the god of death, not hate. Hades, I do control the die. That does explain that it applies to animals too. I control the speed at which lobsters die. Poseidon explained that he is the god of the seas and oceans. I control the lobsters. Zeus explained why he can't keep it in his pants. I do not control the D. I do the speed. Hermes explained why he gotta go fast. Diana is explained why he liked that. I do speed. All of these are so accurate and hurts. Also, Hermes, God messengers, I control the post. And Ares, guys of Discord and Chaos, no control. I love that. I kind of love these sounds my browser makes right now. Much of a game that I should probably re-download eventually. There were some of those hyper-specific polls that had an option like your grandfather told you war stories that he never told anyone else. And now I feel like I have to tell the story about how a spider saved my grandfather's life in World War II. Now my family doesn't kill spiders because we owe our existence to that one single spider. That one single spider has already been killed oh, multiple times. And all of its offspring are probably extinct. I don't know. I kill every spider I see out of pure fear. Just... Arachnophobia is a... bitch. And every eight-legged creature will suffer because of me being afraid of them. Uh, actually that's probably any bug. But with spiders, it's... a lot worse for me. Anyway. So, to set the scene, it's the height of World War II in France. And my grandpa, a 6'3", 20-year-old old upper Michigan farm boy, has been separated from his company after a, 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 a camp, after a temporary camp was shelled. My grandpa, who I had to, I have to add, was nicknamed the Suicide Kid. <clears throat> because he he worked in demolitions and bomb interception and kept taking the jobs no one wanted with the expectation that he was never going home anyway. It scared out of his wits, wandering around the French countryside alone. He has to move at night and sleep in barns, and 
Ed starting to day to hide from people who most definitely want him dead. And what does say is he finds a farmhouse of a very jittery couple who agreed to let him sleep in the barn. On the condition that he sleeps in the barn loft, that he's found, this a disavow all knowledge that he was there. He agrees because he's exhausted and will sleep in, in a hay pile if he has to. My grandpa imagines to fit all six eggs for three inches of himself into a feed the trail sort of stairs and tries to get some sleep. <sighs> However, right when he's half sneezing, he hears motors outside, and sure enough, here are some very angry officers of mixed Nazi and Vichy in make confronting a couple saying someone up the road spotted an American soldier walking this way. They wouldn't know anything about that, would they? No, of course not. All the while, my grandpa now trying to figure out how to escape the barn unseen or how to fight off six, seven, eight people at once. Freezes up and waits for the inevitable. While he does, a huge spider crawls next to his head and onto the loft railing. For one second, he thinks about swatting it away without risk of being seen and killed. So instead, he lays there and waits to either fight to the death or get executed and defeat a, a trough. And while he lays there, the spider slides making a huge web on the railing. My grandpa's transfixed by this thing. He watches her go round and round, building a solid web before plopping herself off to one side and waiting for breakfast. At the same time, the officers finally go into the barn. My grandpa can hear them searching around, throwing over crates and checking animal pens. Then he sees one. And say to check the loft. And another say, Don't bother. Look at the spiderwebs up there. No one's been there in a while. And they leave. Because my grandpa then swat the spider away and let her build on her web. The officer thought no one was there and left him alone. They drive off and my grandpa immediately thanks to the farmer couple and, and hauls us out there as soon as, as he can. After this, my grandpa refused to kill any spider, and his kids is the same, because if it wasn't for her, he wouldn't have lived and would never have had kids or grandkids. So we owe her one. That's the man himself. Go, Grandpa! Damn. That's actually really awesome. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to be scrolling down. How did I forget that? Hmm. Male on male ships are usually the most popular because male characters tend to be uh, uh, written better slash are more interesting. It's a lie. Male characters can be the equivalent of a burnt scone on a paper plate and people will bite into it saying it's delicious. Yeah, they're called British. Sorry. It's tempted to slay the why male on male is more popular than even on female Hydra with my I, it's misogyny sword but every time I cut off one excuse two more take its place. I'm gonna be real. I didn't know male on male was more popular than female on female. I mean, I like both. Like, I loved Given, and I loved um, Soccer Trick, and um, I think I still need to finish Citrus. But I know that personally. I actually like female on female a lot more and men on men. <sighs> Maybe because girls. Anyway. <sighs> and also, Soccer Trick kind of was part of uh, a lesbian awakening for me. Anyway. I'm just saying, new uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid book in the store. It's been six years and Greg's life is not getting better, or like, at this point, just die. 
Greg Hefley will outlive me and you. And also the nuclear winter. Poor dude. Greg is an immoral being that is beyond our understanding. Greg is cursed with immortality because that would make him suffer more than just dying. Understood? <sighs> rules to no to learning English. There are no rules. Oh wow, I hate that. I absolutely despise that. This makes me feel so uncomfortable. I I despise that. Weed isn't even a drug to me. She's more like a girlfriend. Hey, birthday, baby. I love you so much. <laughs> okay, I see it. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay, last post. Then we're ending. Then and we need to end the video. Something I feel about all these new movements based is shooters like X Defiant by Ubisoft is that they don't feel appealing for anyone who isn't a super cracked up on Admiral going at speed of light. Or a pro call duty player or live streaming them. They're too fast paced. The time to kill is too fast, and the weapons are basically lit extremes that never miss. They feel like they discourage actual tactics and using your brain and just encourage running and flying and just spraying at anything that moves. What I want is more slow paced, punishing, and realistic shooters where you have to think and strategize like Arma, Squad, and a older Rainbow Six games. Stuff that has a large amount of weapons and a large amount of approaches to every situation but slower movement. I have a feeling Counter Strike 2 would help make more of these games. Another thing I want is a Halo like game where Sprint is dished for a shield, where there's a rock, paper, scissors matchup of weapons that damn. It shields and weapons of damage armor and weapons of damage body. The children yearn for time fall. Doesn't help that all the clips I've seen of these shooters have the player shaking his camera like an idiot to try and seem fast. Yeah, please stop shaking your camera. Oh wait, no, I said that was the last post. Okay. Okay, so you haven't noticed by now. I am a Dexus Ooh R slash Templar. Maybe because it's the uh, closest thing on red to Tumblr. <gasps> if you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. This video is nearly an hour long. That's way too long for a video. I should really keep better track of the time. I'll see you tomorrow, probably. Actually, with the season getting hot, I might I'd have to abandon my bedroom entirely for a while. <sighs> we'll see how it is, and hope for the best. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, goodbye!